Hey everyone, I'm Steven. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things anxiety. And today's topic's pretty interesting. It's does anxiety cause eye flashes? I know you've been there. You stand up too fast or you turn around too fast and you see the red or the black or maybe even the more interesting phenomenon where you're just laying there spacing out and you see all those little squiggly guys swimming around across your eyes just to realize they're not there, they're in your eye themselves. This interesting but, you know, not harmful phenomenon is intriguing, but can anxiety cause it? Can it cause the flashes or the floaters? Let's get into it. Before we get into what causes the floaters and flashes, let's first address what they are, starting with the floaters. The floaters, those are the little specks, specks and spots, the squiggly things that show up in your eyes, could be shaped like spider webs, could even be dark spots. You know, the ones that you try to look at and no matter how deceptive you are, they're always right there ahead of your vision. You can never catch them. It's the most frustrating game to play in the world. Those are the floaters. In simple terms, floaters are clusters of cells or proteins in your vitreous humor, also called the vitreous body. This is the clear gel that fills most of your eye and helps it hold its shape. Humor here comes from the Latin word for liquid or fluid. The vitreous chamber is the hollow chamber that holds your vitreous humor. This construct provides a way for light to reach your retina, which detects the light that your brain interprets as eyesight. What this means is that when you see floaters in your eye, you're not actually seeing the floater, you're seeing its shadow. That's why it's so hard to focus. As soon as you try to look at it, it seems to disappear because it's not the actual floater you're looking at. So then we have flashes. Flashes are the occurrence of light, like bursts, sparks, that type of thing that show up in the visual field. They often happen in dim lighting or dark conditions, and a lot of people experience them first thing in the morning and they fade throughout the day. They can take several different appearances, such as a camera burst, the flash from a camera, streaks or blurs of white lightning, uh, different types of sparks or flashes like a firework, or seeing stars, kind of like when you hit the back of your head too hard. I think we all know that unfortunately. It's not very fun. Now that we know what flashers, flashers, oh, and floaters are, we are much closer to answering the question of what causes them and if anxiety can play a part in that. So let's take a look at that data and see what conclusions we can find. So the big question, eye flashes and floaters, what causes them? Well, this part made me a little sad when I learned it. Um, the number one reason of why they get caused is this little thing called age. I know. I know, not what I wanted to hear either, oh, but it's age. <laughs> so as you get older, the vitreous humor begins to shrink, and as this shrinking happens, it can begin to tug at your retina, which can cause visual disruptions such as floaters. Isn't that exciting? On top of that, as it shrinks, it can create a gelling effect which clumps cells together in your visual path and can create those different floaters and squiggly lines that you see. As these clumps begin to multiply and form, they begin to move around the visual field, creating what's known as free floaters. Nope, not a free loader. They are close but free floaters. And as they move in front of the macula and around your eye, they become visible in your visual field, which then leads to the constant floaters that you see that you live with every day. They're like your best friends. There are a few other processes that also create eye floaters, such as cataract surgery, eye injury, and even diabetes. And actually, people with vision issues often experience them more frequently, especially people with nearsightedness. You can rid yourself of floaters via surgery. However, that's inherently more dangerous of a procedure to be having the surgeries on your eyes instead of just living with the floaters. After all, over time, your brain is gonna cancel out those floaters and you'll see them less and less visually. However, if they become a huge issue for you, that is a remedy. Talk to your doctor, see if it is a good option. Um, they can get rid of them for you. Just remember, it does not come without risk. 
Eye flashes can also be caused through several processes as we age, the most common of which are the rubbing, tugging, and bumping of the vitreous humor into the retina. There's also a condition where the vitreous humor detaches from the retina. This is known as posterior vitreous detachment, and most often than not is a non-threatening condition. In some cases, posterior vitreous detachment can cause the retina to tear. This allows the humor to flow out of the vitreous chamber and causes the retina to actually separate from the underlying tissue. This is known as retinal detachment and it can lead to permanent visual loss. And sometimes a surgery can be performed to reattach the retina, but hopefully you never experience that because it is apparently not a fun experience. Other causes of flashes can be severe headaches or migraines. These are known as ocular migraines. The science on this is a bit inconclusive, but they do believe that this happens when the blood vessels that feed the retina get inflamed or spasm. Now that we have a little bit more insight of floaters and flashers and their causes, let's take a look at if anxiety can induce these. The research connecting eye floaters and flashers to anxiety is virtually non-existent. However, people who do have these conditions report seeing more eye flashes and floaters when in an anxious state. So just because the science and research is almost non-existent doesn't mean that there's not any there at all. So let's take a look at what does exist and see if we can draw our own conclusion. One survey study that was published in 2017 in the Journal of Ophthalmology monitored 64 participants, where they looked at the frequency and occurrence of eye floaters and flashes, and also inquired about mental illnesses such as depression and anxiety. These results were then compared with 34 participants who experienced no eye floaters or flashers at all, and the author concluded that individuals who experienced eye flashes were more likely to have anxiety, eye flashes were also more common with incidents of depression, and stress was more correlated with the incident of more frequent eye flashes and floaters. Unfortunately, this one study was unable to correlate if eye flashes cause anxiety or anxiety can cause more eye flashes, and they did recommend more clinical research was required to draw a correlation between the two. It does seem plausible to me, however. In my own opinion, if you have high anxiety and you have stress, that leads to higher blood pressure and flow, right? So that could lead to more floaters and more flashes in the visual sight. As always guys, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. As more information comes out about these flashes and floaters and their relationship to anxiety, we'll be sure to keep you up to date because we want to know ourselves and sure you want to know as well. So thank you so much again, hope you have a non-stressful day, and we'll see you next video.